This channel strictly adheres to ethical guidelines and does not support or encourage any illegal activities. The content shared here is purely for educational purposes. Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you how to get free RDP using the GitHub Student Pack. This gives you a server that keeps running with full admin and SSH access. Follow each step carefully and don't skip anything. I'll walk you through the setup, so even if you're not a pro, you can do it. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button to, for regular updates. Let's get started. Sign up or log into GitHub, select Create Repository, give it a name, scroll down and hit Create Repository. Open a new tab, go to tailscale.com, select Start Connecting Devices to proceed. Select Sign Up with GitHub and Authorize Tailscale. Now follow these steps carefully. Select Skip this introduction. Locate Settings and click on it. Click Keys, choose Generate Auth Key, then click Generate and copy the key. Return to GitHub, click Settings and select Secrets and Variables. Click Actions and select New Repository Secret. Type the name as it is and paste the key you copied earlier below. Click on Actions, select Set up a workflow yourself. Look in the description for a link and paste the code here. Click Commit Changes, Commit Changes again, wait a few seconds and select Actions again. Select RDP and run the workflow. Click RDP and select Secure RDP to proceed. Click this link to open the Tailscale login page. Sign in with GitHub and authorize Tailscale. Click Connect to proceed. Right-click on Windows, open the link in New Tab. Download the Tailscale installer. We will use it at the end. Install Tailscale, it's easy, so don't make any mistake. Return to GitHub. By now you'd have access to your RDP login details. That's the address, username, and password. Copy only the address for now and let's proceed. Open Tailscale and click Sign into your network. Sign in with GitHub, authorize Tailscale, and click Connect to proceed. We're almost there, no need to worry. Open Remote Desktop on your computer and paste the address you copied. Enter the username and check Allow Me to Save Credentials. Click Connect to proceed. Copy the password from the workflow and paste it. Here you go. Your remote desktop server is ready. You can explore for details. Let's check the internet speed and other few things. You have it all to yourself for further checks.
Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.